Since its inception in 1984, the Terminator series has quickly become one of the most popular action fiction brands in history. However, the series has dramatically changed since Linda Hamilton left the project after Terminator 2. But now, this legendary woman has returned to the Terminator, the dark destiny, to bring the series this movie is back in its heyday. Only in place in 1984, she was only 28 years old, but now she is over 60. In today's video, we will learn about Linda Hamilton, the legend of which comes back after nearly 20 years of seclusion. Lonely Childhood Linda Carol Hamilton, born September 26, 1956, in Maryland, USA, born into a boring family as described by her. She was born almost simultaneously with her twin sister, Leslie, when her five-year-old sister was unhappy with her family. Her father died in a car accident. Then her mother got married a second time to Sheriff Salisbury. At age 16, Linda became rebellious with her sister, Leslie. At that time, Linda cut her own short hair and she gained about 110 pounds. 50 kilograms, and tried to follow a different way of living with her sister. While Leslie's sister was active and sociable, her younger sister Linda became a recluse. In his twenties, when studying acting at the University of Washington, Linda Hamilton was commented by his teacher that there was no hope of making a living as an actor. But after more than 30 years of pursuing the art of film, she proved that claim completely wrong. In 1976, Linda Hamilton moved from Chesterton to New York upon graduating from university. There, she began attending Lee Gyrberg's acting seminar. By 1979, Linda finished her studies and moved to California. Her first leading role was Lisa Rogers in Secrets of Midland Heights, a soap opera aimed at female housewives. The work revolves around the love story and the thoughts of teenagers. The work helped her to make the list of 12 promising new actors of 1982. By 1984, she had the next leading role in the horror project Children of the Corn. In the film, Vicki Baxter is played by Hamilton and his boyfriend Bert Stanton is played by Peter Horton. They explore an abandoned town and gradually discover scary facts from there. Her acting has made a lot of progress, but the film itself has been criticized by critics. Shine with the Terminator In 1984, when participating in the movie The Terminator, Linda Hamilton's name really shined in the movie Sky. The Terminator originates from a dream of the great filmmaker James Cameron, which tells the story of a metal skeleton trudging from an explosion. He has made fiction films that go far beyond the imagination of the audience of the time. In that science fiction movie, Sarah Connor is an ordinary woman, and the pursuit of a future killing machine called T-800, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because later, she will give birth to the savior of humanity, and who will destroy the artificial intelligence system, Skynet is manipulating the future world. Launched in 1984, The Terminator is an unexpected success both in terms of revenue and artistic appreciation, and helped raise the career of directors James Cameron, actors Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton. The image of the cyborg T-800 with muscular body and cold face, without expression has become a model for many villains later. Linda Hamilton alone did not dream about a sequel to the film, because her character in the first part does not have many action scenes. However, a few years later, director James Cameron contacted her to invite her to participate in the second film. One thing few people know, is that she was pregnant at the sixth month when the director came to see her. At that time, 
Hamilton only had one request instead of playing the beauty in distress again, she wanted Sarah Connor to become a stronger woman. And this time, for the perfect role playing, Linda Hamilton was forced to undergo intensive training, including push-up exercises and shotgun exercises. When Cameron first contacted Hamilton, she was still in a marriage with actor Bruce Abbott. By the time the director returned to write the complete script, Hamilton had mothered a newborn baby boy and Bruce Abbott also proposed to divorce shortly thereafter. Although it was not the perfect time to act in an action movie, Hamilton considered it an opportunity for her to vent her sadness. Debuting in 1991, Terminator 2, Judgment Day continued to be a choking chase between future, destroying robots with Sarah Connor and her son. But this time, Sarah Connor is no longer a protected person. It is she who will fight the forces coming from the future. This is the most successful blockbuster in 1991, when revenue reached more than $510 million. With a more dramatic storyline, with superior craftsmanship and bigger investments, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, won four Oscar statues. This is a rare record for an action blockbuster. More influential than the first film, actress Hamilton won two MTD awards for her role as Sarah Connor and was honored by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world in the early 1990s. In addition to the Terminator fever, Hamilton was also admired by the audience through the character Catherine Chandler in the series Beauty and the Beast, the role that brought her two Golden Globe nominations and an Emmy nomination. Besides, Hamilton's acting in Dante's Peak, or A Mother's Prayer is also appreciated. Living with James Cameron is a nightmare. James Cameron has been married five times, and Linda Hamilton is his fourth wife. The couple married in 1997, while he was working on the film Titanic. For Cameron, work is first, wife is second. Therefore, the beautiful actress feels unable to get along with her ex-husband. The two's formidable marriages from 1997 to 1999 left the Terminator fans themselves far behind. Living with James is a nightmare. I could not realize the whole truth when I was dating. He once gave me a big diamond ring, but after I broke up I forgot it too. The days we live together are more than enough. When I broke up with James, I completely collapsed for many years. But I'm glad to be out of that relationship. Those are Hamilton's shared lines. The film actress Terminator hated having to attend the awards ceremony with her ex-husband because their love affair was broken because of the complicated and polite rituals here. Having to smile in front of the crowd and the reporters, attending lunches makes me unbearable. The days when Titanic won an Oscar were nightmares. I am constantly under pressure, shared Cameron's fourth wife. You are watching videos on LMT channel. Don't forget to visit the group's new channel, a compilation of videos about the royal family. Details see below the comment section. Impressive Ray, export. After the Terminator 2, various studios tried to expand the series without the involvement of Hamilton or Cameron. The following episodes failed to reach the box office peak. While recent efforts to revive the series, including the 2009 Terminator Salvation and the 2015 Terminator Genesis, were not as satisfactory. Two years ago, actress Hamilton unexpectedly received an invitation from her ex-husband, director James Cameron. He asked if she was ready to play Sarah Connor again. Tim Miller, the director of blockbuster Deadpool, will direct the new Terminator film, produced by Cameron. Both directors felt that in order for the new film to work, the other parts had to be removed. 
that will help Hamilton will return to his lifetime role. For a long time, Linda Hamilton was no longer in a blockbuster movie, but only occasionally played a few TV series. But she still feels excited to return to the role that made her name. She said, It isn't that I'm afraid of disappointing fans, I'm afraid of letting Sarah Connor disappoint. After season two of Terminator ended, a series of scandals about whether to continue creating the brand or not emerged. When the sixth project, now produced and distributed by Paramount, whose second installment was announced, many critics reacted violently. After its release on November 1, 2019, the work received the admiration of the audience when it grossed over $125 million worldwide after a week of release. With a budget of nearly $200 million, Terminator, Dark Fate is one of the most expensive blockbusters of 2019 through the direction of James Cameron and the return of the legendary duel Linda Hamilton, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The film set after the second part when Sarah, John and T-800 successfully prevent Skynet from changing the future saving the lives of over 3 billion people from the Day of Judgment. The story begins 20 years later. A new Terminator is sent by the AI Legion system from the future to the past to kill Donnie Ramos, played by Natanya Reyes. This is the person who will help change the situation in the future. The Resistance also sent a half-human, half-machine warrior named Grace, played by Mackenzie Davis, to protect Donnie, with the help of Sarah Connor, played by Linda Hamilton, and T-800 Carl, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. The three fought together to stop the robotic plot again. The most noticeable point in the plot is that the repetition of the motif seems to be similar to the opening of The Terminator. Still a destruction robot from the future looking for the weak. In the new section, the director replaces Skynet with Legion, replacing T-800 with Grace. The character lines seem to have not changed. However, the film still has its own character, dramatic and climax as well as many surprises. Sarah Connor played by Linda Hamilton's probably the best character shown in the movie. Still the powerful action, super cool, Sarah brings an arrogant style, thorny, imprinted by an old warrior. Devoting her life to fighting destructive robots, Sarah Connor's an image of an unyielding will. Inspiring Donnie, from a weak worker to a successor, to the future of humanity. Despite having to give part of the performance to new characters, Linda Hamilton still made her own mark on the strong image and reminded the audience of her glorious time in the 1990s. Or Full Incarnation To get the most beautiful movie scenes, Hamilton must exercise to regain his body toned, supple. At the beginning of the film, Sarah is a human being with a broken life. She's a woman without a country, adventure, and full of anger. To transform into her, Hamilton had to learn how to shoot rockets and return to a fighting state when she was over 60 years old. Hamilton trained in the desert with blue barracks. Doctors then put her on a regimen of supplements and biological hormones to help build muscles. I have a whole village of experts trying to make the most of this body, Hamilton said. Sarah Connor fought on land, air and underwater in Terminator, Dark Fate, and the filming was arduous. She lamented, we had an ear infection because we stayed in the water for three weeks and then they hung us upside down. However, Hamilton still wants to do most of his own stunts. If she reincarnated Sarah Connor after all this time, trade your peaceful life with one full of explosions and flash. She wouldn't do it half-heartedly. Lind is best when challenged, Cameron said. Up to now, the legendary Sarah Connor with black glasses a dusty soldier suit in the hands of a gun is still a lifetime role of a Hollywood female.
striving to arrange her personal life. After the new production, Hamilton admitted, I spent three months on the sofa eating cookies. Then one morning I woke up and said, damn, this was so much fun. She laughed. Living in seclusion for more than 10 years, and coming back to the Terminator after 28 years, Linda Hamilton has been especially sought after by the press and fans. After all these years, the top star still has a strong charisma and is also more friendly at the age of 63. Linda Hamilton shared in the New York Times that after part one of the Terminator, she once fell into depression because she could not find a similar role. And when she was young, she had signs of alcoholism. When she was a teenager, she used to mix alcohol and drugs, she said. However, the death of one of her friends stopped Linda, and she decided to go through psychotherapy. Later, when season two came out and went through some private life events, Linda Hamilton lived a quiet life. In the last meeting with the reporter, she didn't wear makeup, bringing with her two dogs named Turk and Noodle. On her wrist, there is a tattoo, the coordinates of the mansion in Malibu, which she sold in 2012, shortly after the Chuck drama ended. The actress worked for a few years on a farm in Virginia before moving to New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. She has been single for more than 15 years, and if anyone deserves to be loved by her, it is her favorite artist, Kay Hand Wiley, Director Tim Miller, who was tasked with drawing Hamilton back into her lifetime role for Terminator, Dark Fate said, she doesn't care about any celebrity pitfalls, in fact, it seems she did not want anything. One of the hardest things for her in returning to this character was knowing that she would have to step into the limelight again. Commenting on his ex-wife, James Cameron said, Hamilton was a symbol of action in the 1980s and 1990s. Her comeback is very meaningful. There are many 50, 60-year-old still participating. Action movies but celebrities are rare. Contacting his life, James Cameron also shared, I was attracted to strong, independent women, inherent disadvantages that they don't need you. How fortunate when I used to get married. With such a strong woman, thank you for watching the video on LNT channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Don't stop.